Well, good evening, everyone. This is Bill Breeden, and I am uh, conducting a virtual tour of the entire night sky. We're going through all the constellations. And tonight, we are going to focus on Camilla Pardalis. This is constellation tour number six. Camilla Pardalis is also known as the giraffe, and it is a northern celestial polar constellation. So it is visible all year from mid-northern latitudes. We have our software Stellarium here set on January the 10th at 7.51 p.m. when Camilla Perdalis is high in the sky. So let me show you how to find Camilla Perdalis. Look due north. The north star is going to be your latitude. It's going to be um, your latitude above the horizon. So the North Star is 38 degrees up. And in mid-January, Camilla Pardalis is going to be very high up above the North Star. So, and if you've seen my previous presentation, all you really need to do is find Cassiopeia and you will find Camilla Pardalis is just to the right of it. Now, from a suburban location, you will see here, I'm going to turn the boundaries on, from a suburban location, you will see that Camilla, Camilla Perdalis is a large, large area of sky here, but there are no bright stars. I mean, this is simulating a suburban sky, and it is really accurate. There's a few faint ones here and there, but there's really nothing that stands out. So your best bet to to uh, to find it is basically to look between the W of Cassiopeia and and the Big Dipper. That whole area of sky between the two, much of it is Camilla Perdalis. Another way to find it is to find the bright star Capella, and that is part of the constellation Auriga. And Camilla Perdalis is going to be just to the left of the Bright Star Capella in mid-January. So another way to find it is between the W of Cassiopeia and the Star Capella. That may actually be an easier way to find it. Camilla Perdalis is visible all year from mid-northern latitudes. And I have I have two objects to show you in Camilla Perdalis. So tell you what, let's let's make it dark a little earlier than usual, shall we? Since it's such a faint constellation. And you can see now that. There are plenty of stars in Camilla Perdalis, but it would still be hard to really visualize anything there, even from a dark site. You're still, you'll still find yourself looking between the W of Cassiopeia, the bright star Capella, and even above the Big Dipper here. So this whole area of sky with just a splattering of, of faint stars. So we're going to search for a double star. Beta Camilla Perdalis is one I have listed here. Well, let's have a look at Beta through the finder scope. And I'm not seeing it split. There may be a fainter companion. Uh, this is... Let's see, I, this, there's no magnitude listed here for whatever reason. So let's have a look at it through an eyepiece. There we go. It almost looks like a triple star. So Beta Camilla Perdalis would be, would, I would recommend pointing your telescope at it. That looks like it would be a really neat object to, to observe. Hmm. 
Okay, as we return to a naked eye view of the sky, I know it's only been a minute or so, but let's have a look at this naked eye view of the sky for a little bit. And can you see Camillo Perdalis? Can you picture where it is in the sky? Here's Capella, and here's the W shape of Cassiopeia. So right in this area here. Let's see how close I am. There we go. It's a little further from Capella. It's like it's like halfway between this star and this star. And and it kind of extends toward the North Star and actually a little bit beyond it, if that helps. So let's look for an open cluster within its boundaries, NGC 1502. I love open clusters, so let's hope this is a good one. There's our finder skull pointed at it. It looks like it's a nice one. It's got some bright members. It's got some medium members. It's got some faint members. Through the eyepiece. Yeah, that's a nice one. I don't know if I've ever looked at that before with my telescope. It's about seventh magnitude. And looks like it's also listed on Colander's list of open clusters. It's Colander 45. Okay, we'll return to our naked eye view of the sky just one last time to enjoy the view. And again, this is Bill Breeden, and I hope you've enjoyed my little sky tour here of the constellation Camilla Pardalis. Good night, good seeing.